Hi, I'm Kyle, and today we're going to look at using AirOps Sidekick in DBT. AirOps Sidekick includes several recipes designed to help SQL writers work 10 times faster. Included in those recipes are things like generating DBT SQL with Jinja, generating DBT YAML config files for your models, and even generating full Python scripts that can run directly in DBT. Let's jump over to my DBT Cloud IDE and open a new SQL file. Here, I'll use AirOps Sidekick to help me generate a full SQL query that includes referencing another DBT model using Jinja. I've chosen one of my marketing tables, and now I'm going to ask AirOps to look at clicks, impressions, cost, row as, and click through rate. I'll also ask it to be broken down by month and by ad source. After clicking generate, Sidekick will quickly generate a query that I can then copy and drop directly into my DBT Cloud environment. Since I'm already working in DBT Cloud, I can use all the tools available to me, like running the query and building my model. After I've written my query comes everyone's favorite step, writing the YAML file entry for the model that I've just created. Sidekick makes that step quick and easy by allowing you to paste the query directly in AirOps Sidekick and generating the YAML entry for you. After pasting in, I can see that Sidekick has generated the name for each field, as well as a definition it even does things like adds tests automatically. This means documenting all of your DBT models now only takes seconds and you have no excuse to not do it. Finally, let's do something really challenging. By creating a new Python file in my DBT Cloud environment, I can also use Sidekick to generate a complete Python script that uses the correct DBT syntax. In this case, I'll prompt Sidekick to use the profit library and I'll ask for a forecast of my cost metric into the future for the next six months. I can then choose the model that I just created with SQL and generate a Python script that inputs that model as a data frame. Pasting it in to my DBT Cloud environment, I can see that AirOps is importing the correct libraries, then feeding the model into a data frame, and then creating a forecast. It's then going to return the final data frame as a forecast to be stored as a table back in my data warehouse. In addition to the three recipes that we just took a look at, Sidekick offers a whole range of tools designed to help analysts work faster and easier. Things like suggesting questions based on an existing data set or table, correcting SQL errors, and even optimizing and improving SQL query performance. If you want to give it a try, head over to airops.com to sign up for free. We'd also love to hear if there are any recipes that you think would make your job faster and easier.